And then the other arm. Good morning, peeps. This is Julia from Eastbourne slash Beachy Head. Uh, and we're doing a 16 and a half mile walk today. Um, should be a fun one. We've got perfect weather. The rest of the UK has got thunderstorms, but this part is actually okay. Well, fingers crossed. I've probably tempted fate by saying that now. Uh, I think we've got 16 of us, so it should be a, a nice group. And uh, yeah, lots of hills. So we'll sort of see how this goes. We're going over the Seven Sisters, into the country park, uh, up through a forest trail. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be ace. And we're, we're going to stop for some lunch at a place called, I think it's called Lillington, but I might be wrong. I'll let you know about that. Uh, most of us stopped at the YHA last night. I was going to camp, but to be honest, I'm all out of camping at the moment. Um, so I actually stopped. I blew up my airbed and stopped in the YHA. Uh, friends have got some, um, you know, the bunk bed room there so i actually stopped in a little cove there but on my air bed with a duvet so yeah it was nice anyway i shall see you in a little while join with us today let's see how we get on Just checking in, we've got horses, or little horses, we've got cows. We just finished the Seven Sisters, uh, the first part of it anyway, and we're now in the Seven Sisters Country Park. Um, so we've got a nice pleasant walk through all the, um, sh not streams, like rivers and stuff like that, and then we'll go and have a look at the Country Park um, place, and then we'll go up into the forest. So yeah, should be good. Give us a wave. <laughs> it just looks so peaceful. All right, so we've done uh, the Seven Sisters Country Park. Everyone went to the loo. No one went into the shop and bought stuff, which is cool. Uh, it's a bit worrying because we're hearing thunder in the background. We've just come into the woods and it's suddenly like a good 10, maybe 15 degrees cooler, which is brilliant. That's what we want. All right, let's crack on. If you can see, it's a white horse. Good idea. Well, we timed that just right. So the thunder ended up as a bit of a rain shower, um, but literally we'd stopped at the tea rooms here. So we just had lovely tea and the young lad there, bless him, serving us all outside, ended up putting on this funny hat. Uh, it was only a youngster, uh, but yeah, entertained us all. Um, it's just drizzly now, so uh, it's quite nice actually. So we're going to meet everyone else down at the cycle club, and then uh, we'll carry on with the with the hike. Yeah, the skylarks.
All right, so 11 miles in, we've got Eastbourne just down there in front of us. Uh, we're actually up quite high now and we're looping back towards the sea. Um, so we've probably got about five or six miles left to go. But yeah, it just started raining again a minute ago. I was like, oh no, but we didn't need to put our jackets on. It didn't last long. Let's hope it stays that way. 12 miles in, bit of trig bagging. Got to be done. by the city again now. Here we go, but somehow I'm caught in the middle. Is this the end before we've even begun? Should I work against the flow? A drop in the ocean so well good morning peeps we're on day two of our weekend adventure in the south downs national park uh we've got a few sore bodies this morning a couple of blisters um but yeah what a day it was yesterday the whole of the uk had thunderstorms everywhere and there was a little dinky pocket of good weather and that's where we were so we were just so so lucky the only time it rained was um, when we went for lunch but yeah, 16.8 miles, I think it was yesterday. Lots of ups and downs. Yeah, so a few sore, for a few sore bodies this morning. So today's walk is a shorter walk. It's called the South East History Trail. And uh, we're here at the YHA in South East. Everyone's meeting here in about 10 minutes. So it's nearly nine o'clock. Uh, and then we're going to head out and we've got um, lots of little bits of history uh, on this walk. And it's a lot flatter. Saying that, there are still some hills. We're going to see some self-milking cows. Uh, we're going to taste some ice cream. We're going to see an old railway station. Lots of different new things to see today. Very different from yesterday's walk. So, uh, yeah, join with us today. So, day two. All right, see you in a sec. Okay. So, we have an expert here. It's handy having a podiatrist with us. <laughs> I've got some scissors in the car. <laughs> <laughs> church and then just around the corner gorgeous thatched cottage the chimneys on that lovely So we've just reached the small village of Rodmel. This is where we had dinner last night at the Abba Gaveni Arms. I'm sure Abba Gaveni is um, Welsh, but anyway, I mean, it's a gorgeous village. Lots of little fat cottages. Yeah, and um, I think there's a National Trust place here as well. It's called the Monk's House. And I think that's where Virginia Woolf, uh, the a famous author, would sit and write her book. So, yeah. There you go, bit of history for you. <laughs> Quick check in. Uh, we're uh, four and a half miles in, so well over halfway now. The weather's been kind to us again. So far, so good. This is such a pretty area. It's a sort of place where you walk and you get house envy. How the other halves live, so. So, yeah, lovely. We're just on a crest now, and then we're gonna go down towards the river, and then we've got a last section, which is just along the river. So, yeah, should be good. Father Christmas in a royal garden. This is like the rage at the moment, all these royal gardens. 
wildflowers. That's it's great. Deep in the shadows, I know it's hard to pull one foot in front of the other. Ah, so far is the echo. Where do we start? You can learn to discover a million stars Here in the shadows, I know you're scared Take my hand together, we'll make a stand We've got to fight to find a way Dare to fall to find our words to say Well done everyone, big thanks to Paul for leading today what did you all think to it? Yay! Yay good. <laughs>